Hey YouTube, it's iMajorX, and when I logged in this morning, I actually noticed a couple of things that I wanted to talk about. So, the first one was that in my inventory was a piece of paper looking item that said uh, sign up for the combat beta evolution um, adventure, whatever type of thing that it was. Um, so I clicked that, and luckily I was able to sign up for it. It should be happening on June 26th, um, and and I'll definitely be doing it. Um, it said that I was eligible. I had the membership requirements and whatnot. Um, so another thing that actually happened was I'm, I'm going to talk about evolution to come out a lot in this video. So don't worry about that. Another thing that happened was that uh, I got a mad necklace from Diango. Um, it's pretty cool. I'm actually going to be using it on mining because right now I'm mining anyways and I got level 90 last night. So hopefully with all the bonus experience that it gives me, I'll get level 91 tonight. So that's a personal goal that I have. Um, the other thing was the 5k loyalty points that I got for being a member all of May. Um, surprisingly, it actually it actually helped me a lot. I got uh, I got a I got a greater query master aura, and I actually got. Um, uh, green fingers, jack of trades, greater tracker, greater reverence, greater five finger discount, sh greater sure footed, greater, uh, or just regular call to see. So I've actually bought in a quite a bit of, um, I've actually got a quite a bit of auras since they have come out, and I'm actually going for all the skill ones, and I'll try to max all those ones out first, and then hopefully that'll be uh, another kind of uh, just kind of a bonus they seem really cool especially when you don't have level 99 in that skill they actually give a really good help to whenever you're training that skill personally so I think they're, they're pretty fantastic um, so since I actually do want to go mine I'm going to be doing that in this video so right now I'm gonna head over there and then I'll start this video up when I get there and I'll start talking about the evolution of combat Okay, hey everyone, I'm back, and the evolution of combat, it's actually really big right now, and if you don't know why, it's because Jagex actually released a video of a kind of a preview of the evolution of combat um, in their newest behind the scenes video, and let me tell you right now, if you haven't seen it, it's um, pretty awesome. It, it still has the basic runescape mechanics of you hit back and forth, but it's added some new ways to combo pretty much uh, especially if you're a magician or if you're a ranger they added they added a uh, they added more ways to basically target your opponent and have um, kind of new technique skills you really have to see it to know what I'm, I'm talking about but uh, I'll try to explain it to the best of my ability right now so what it looks like in the video is that they have um, they've been trying to rework the balance of the combat triangle and mainly on PvP area on the PvP area um, PVM I'm not sure how well it's going to be affected by this because um, the techniques that they showed mainly were I saw an AOE one and there was uh, just boosting damage ones. Those are the only ones that I can really think of that would affect uh, PV, PVM. I mean, if you're fighting, say, Vandos, uh, you don't really have to wait that long anyways. All you have to do is claw spec it, and it'll be basically be dead. So you don't need a lot of stunning techniques or dodging techniques, uh, mobility techniques to to uh, kill him. But the damage one, that, that could be a bonus boost, um, just basically be like another special attack. Uh, it it should it should prove to add something to the game though, and maybe it'll be more effective on new bosses that they release. Uh, the QBD being one of them. I'm not sure how well uh, it actually will work for technique wise, but um, we'll have to find out when it comes out. Just mainly the longer boss fights seem like they they'd have more of an effect on than uh, shorter ones, like like small monsters like slayer monsters I can't see being very affected unless there's like a speed kind of attack where you can just kind of smash through a task and it'll be a pretty fast experience 
but the PvP aspect, the the application for player versus player combat uh, with this update seem tremendous. The the new combat seems more based on one v one kind of situations. Uh, they actually had uh, sh they showed melee range and mage, just kind of uh, flybys of all of them. The melee one seemed kind of interesting because you could now use like uh, two hands to stab. You can do like a double attack with a scimitar, uh, scimitar, whatever you want to call it. There was just kind of like new, new special attacks where you could hit more or hit better, and then kind of speed. It was it was more technique, but there was still the basic component of hitting back and forth uh, that RuneScape always has always had. But with the ranged and the the magic, that's where the the techniques actually probably mainly come in handy. There were some like there were there were mobility techniques where you could you could see how they were trying to balance the combat triangle. Like with the mage, there was one where you could stun and then jump like eight squares back and then continue maging your opponent. So it it actually would give a more balanced um, player, player player versus player system in the, the wilderness right now. So if you if you do know what I'm talking about, if you've gone to the wilderness, you know that every PvP fight is basically um, melee. If you're going for a cheap kind of fight where it's rune with like a deboot risk and maybe like a scimitar, and then you're protecting your spec web, like a typical just like a regular fight. Um, that's all melee. There's the only people that are actually maging are like Storm of Armadillo and Polypore people that um, try to that try to uh, player jack PJ. Is that what it's called? PJ player jacking. I haven't I haven't uh, PK'd in a long time. Uh, yeah, it's PJ. It sounds weird. Peanut butter and jelly. No, but um. But they're, they're the only ones that, that really go out there, the ones that use Storm of Armadillo and Polypore, and their gear is, it costs a bunch, and I think they're trying to shy away from that. I think they really want to give more power to the basic aspects of Mage, so that uh, it's more viable to use. Not that the defenses will be higher, but that just the techniques that you have when you're Maging, they will be greater against melee than you actually think. So it'll be a kind of an equal fight if you can use them. Um, obviously people aren't going to like the fact that you can stun a melee base player and then jump back 8 squares and then just continue maging them. I mean that gives an extreme disadvantage to melee. But that's what they're trying to accomplish. They're trying to make it so that more people go out there with different techniques. Uh, range had similar things where they could kind of avoid uh, fighting directly like that. And then have maybe, uh, I think there was one where they held a bow for a long time. And then they fired a like probably a strong arrow at their opponent. I know there's one where they shot up, and then like a rain of fire arrows came down on their opponent. So basically, more damage, probably some AOE, and then obviously some mobility to try to get out of the way. Uh, the special attacks for all of them. I think each combat type had a kind of a stun ability. But with this with this update, they just see, it seems like they want to add skill into PVPing, not so that it's just purely uh, melee based or cost based uh, PJing or fighting um, because obviously the main fighting system out there right now for at least high levels such as like max players like me they're extremely just melee where you go whip or rapier, or rapier, rapier and then go into a, a special attack weapon so I, I do think they're trying to avoid that and try to actually make it more equal. And this is actually a great way to make it equal if you think about it. Because if you go out into the wilderness and there's a possibility that you get stunned and then maged by it, uh, people either stop going out into the wilderness or change their combat type. But then if you go mage versus mage, then uh, nothing's really going to happen. So people are going to go range, and if they find a range person, they'll find a magic. Uh, they'll find a magic person. Magic will go for um, melee. And it'll just kind of be like that. And such and so on and so on and so on. So it depends on how really you go out there. Because if someone goes out there for um, 
magic only, then they're going to be screwed. If someone goes out there for range only, they're going to be screwed. So it it really it really makes it so that you're going to be hybriding. They they're kind of making it so that the best way to to actually PVP will be hybriding. So that's kind of my my guess for the future. I think that the wilderness is going to turn into a more hybrid based uh, technique and skill kind of fighting. And to me, that sounds that sounds really enjoyable. It sounds something sounds like something that I could actually find uh, likable. So on June 26th, I'm actually going to give you guys a preview of this. I I hope I hope they'll let us do that. Um, I I hadn't actually thought of it before that they wouldn't let us uh, show you the beta servers, but um, no, they will. Yeah, I, I almost guarantee that they will. So I'll be out with a beta server video um, the day that it comes out. And hopefully within within the hour I can get you a video guys a video of that you guys and you guys should enjoy that. Yeah, it should. It, it's gonna be a huge update to the game. <laughs> and then that's kind of all that I wanted to talk about for the Combat Evolution one. The rest of the video is gonna be kind of on goals in summer, uh, as as kind of a seasonal event. Um so so summer, it, it's it's what it's two months long. It's two and a half months long. It gives uh, a bunch of free time to RuneScape players, or a lot of them at least, that they can set up goals and try to accomplish them before the summer ends. So obviously, I think I've said this before in another video, but I have to work for a month in in uh, three days. Three days I start it, and then I'll, I'll work for a month. And and I still actually have goals for this summer. One of my friends asked me that yesterday, and it kind of made me think: What what do I actually want to do in RuneScape? So, if I mean, just looking at some of my experience, I'm really close to leveling pretty pretty much almost, or at least the majority of my skills that are 99. I can I can, I'm pretty close to a level on them, and they're actually really easy to level. They're getting easier to level as uh, RuneScape keeps on going, and I get more auras and stuff like that happens. New techniques, new training methods. I mean, I've got 80 fire making. I would have never trained that to 80 if uh, bonfires didn't come out. And I could just AFK. I mean, that's fantastic. But the the cool part of that is that um, my goals are actually I th right now they're currently get 99 mining, which I should have 91 tonight, and uh, just because of the Mad May thing, and then you know powering through it. So hopefully I'll have 91 mining tonight, and then uh, so my goal will be 99 mining by the end of summer, along with 99 herblord, just because uh, I want the cape. So I'm not sure if I'm going to go for overloads yet. Depends on how many bosses I start killing or how much money I make over the summer, um, which I also plan on doing. I plan on making a bunch more money, and then probably just level every other skill, uh, get it pretty close to 80, 85. Try to get high as high as I can, pretty much. And then if I find a skill that I find overly fun at that time, I'll train that especially, and maybe I'll go for a 99 there. But the main goals for summer right now are just two 99s and then a majority of leveling. And then throughout the next year, I can keep on leveling, uh, playing hopefully, because I enjoy this game. I I plan on playing it for another year. That'd be kind of nice. Um. But other than that, I hey, I am going to start doing some achievement diaries just because of the rewards that they give. Um, the Falador Diary 2 obviously it gives this uh, bonus farming herbs kind of thing going around, which is nice. And then the Varrock Hard Diaries, it gives a bonus to mining where you can mine double ore. And living rock carvings already do double ore sometimes, so that'll be another boost to mine experience, which I want. So I'll probably make like a quest kind of video, like I have, I've made a couple of quest videos, but this one's just kind of entertained me, because when I do boring quests, I get pretty drastically unentertained, or de de disentertained, I don't know what you'd say there. But to entertain myself, I'll make a video and I can talk about something completely different while I do it. Um... But besides that, I also want to start doing Torstal runs because I, I'm betting those would be a lot of profit, especially if I get my Hunter up so I can make Juju potions. And then I can do Juju mining potions, Juju farming potions, and then make money by doing mining and farming. And that'll give me enough money to start up bossing again and probably train some other skills. 
which all of which I want. So, uh, in in conclusion, I guess the that's those are kind of my summer goals, and hopefully I'll have them by. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure when I'll have them by, but I plan on getting them uh, before summer ends, and then. I'll just kind of edit them or remake them as I go. So if you guys have any summer goals, I'd, I'd love to hear them. You can just post them in a comment if you guys have actually watched this long of the video. I'm pretty sure this has been over a 20 minute video. Um, just because of the way that my throat feels right now, it feels terrible. And I'm about to make another podcast, uh, so you guys can look forward to that later in the day or tomorrow. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll have it done by the end of today, but um, you know. Just look forward to that, and thank you guys for listening to me, and I guess I will uh, see you guys later. Hey everybody, it's I'm Edge Rex, uh, and what am I doing this week, had the action I, 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 I have to show you that I have to do more of a cow's, and I'm just using a little bit of it, and I'm going to show you my reviews.